Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna be continuing the main mission now. Journey to Meridian. You have AVP outstanding oh, pathfinder. One pod, nice. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. Bitcoin We're ready to make our push Pathfinder. on Meridian, then. I'll call a meeting. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time, but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? No, not me. We. We are going to defy them. Aha, that's the spirit. And the kit? That's where the ghost storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Hager? Exactly. Our forge signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan, team. Hager, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. Just what you want to check as well. Uh. Hmm. I don't see anything about the movie night one, so Maybe that'll pop up again later. Protocol, Liam. Subsection shirts. Civilian ship. What they do not my pay. We get paid. Are you kidding? You should see now my tail. Zara. Archon's information is right. This is the system. Meridian should be here somewhere. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. I found something. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Satellite detected. That's it. That's Meridian. Or Kitasira, as the cat call it. Looks like a giant space station. <laughs> Initiating
Raging Ghost Storm on my mark. Three, two, go. Yeah, I'm pretty, sure the, pretty sure this is the part where we find out the origins of the Angara and the real name of the remnant builders, the Jardan. Hager, it's working. Reading a bunch of Ket headed our way, pulling back. It's all on you now, Tempest. We should get them as close as possible to here. Intense readings could be some kind of control center. No decent landing sites. This could get messy. How messy? Ryder, looks like a flyby is our only option. I'll get as low as possible, but you'll have to eject over the target area. I've fallen out of so many things now, I should be a pro. Heard about your freefall to Habitat 7. Liam said he could hear you screaming the whole way down. Keep it button this go round, huh? It's embarrassing. All right, you know the drill. What's your rate of descent? Shield should take care of the rest. So far, so good. The cat haven't detected us. But once we go in, we'll be clear as day to any troops on the ground. Don't worry about us. Just make sure you and the Tempest get out safe. Loud and clear. Everyone okay? I may be old, but my plating's still plenty hard. Pathfinder, while interacting with that console, I detected the presence of a complex network connected via a central command hub. A hub? You mean we found Meridian's controls? Most likely. However, the hub is dark, deactivated. Pathfinder, we are looking at the central command hub I detected earlier. As with the monoliths and vaults, the hub is connected to the two neighboring towers. So activating the towers will also activate the command hub. Change in plan? I say we activate Meridian. Now! Ked won't like that. Activating a vault has previously activated a purification field. Perhaps Meridian is similar. Let's head to those towers and see what we can find. Pathfinder, interfacing with that console has activated a gravity well. Pathfinder, I'm picking up radio interference. A cat signal. Alert! The detect signal was a decoy. Key to zero has been infiltrated. All units are to focus on incapacitation and capture of the Pathfinder. Better be ready. It sounds like trouble up ahead. I wish the Moshai could see this. <laughs> Cat above us, we're completely open. Look out. Sam, what do you think? Intense vortexes of scourge energy. I would steer clear if I were you, Pathfinder. They can't have really made themselves at home here. Looking! Hostile shuttle incoming.
against them. What the hell? Translating. Pattern 1-3. Viability, 56.2%. Genetic template transmitted for testing. They were doing... things to the Ankara. We can't be sure what this is yet, Jal. Really? Because the last time we saw something like this, the Ket were turning us into them. Sam, I need an analysis. It appears that these beings are not Angara. They are not even alive. I don't understand. They look so... The remnant language refers to these bodies as genetic templates. A blueprint. Like the plants we saw. The Angara? We came from here? They created us? Why? Does it matter why? Where you came from doesn't change who you are. True. And we still face the same conflicts. I just feel as though something has shifted. I need to think. I need to speak with the Moshai. Meridian creates life. And the Archon could use it to do the opposite. Destroy everything. It's up to us to make sure that doesn't happen. If we crack Meridian's controls first, we make sure the Archon can't use it. You okay, John? Learning stuff about where you come from can really shake a person up. I'll be all right. It helps to know I have the support of friends. Thank you. Yeah, I got your back. The Remnant Builders sure like their toys. Now I translate from Remnant language. Uh, temper, essence, spirit, hang on. Adjustments of series 11923 results in greater mental agility. Reasoning skill showed degrees of improvement, however, soul imprecise. Temper, essence, spirit was fragile, prone to tremors, frenzies, agulation. Exactly like 
this on Naya. Perhaps this is a prototype. So many of like them. the Angara we saw. Stars. There must be hundreds. Why are this many of them here? Don't like it. Feels wrong. There we go, yeah, so a remnant blueprint for creating created Angara it appears that they are not and were never meant to be living specimens. The facility may have been an archive to store genetic records of past iterations of Angara throughout the creation process. So basically these are all the failed subjects the of the, the creating the Angara. That's gotta be why the Kettery. It's working! The entire city's coming back to life! Interesting. Uh, that pool <clears throat> was hiding in land. Sledge skills were pretty well suited to the, uh, the biology. Like the chosen heirs generation discovered the multiple locations, a large percentage One of them completely independently. To go the <clears throat> Director up. considers the test to be a success. Any more? No. I wonder if there's a broken atmo processor somewhere that's causing this downpour. Stop fussing, a little rain won't kill you. Be getting close to one of those towers. We need to activate both to reach Meridian's core. Okay, just need to bring one more tower online. So many guns! This was some fight. Detecting high levels of scourge energy. Be careful. building a workable database of the remnant language. We have not encountered instances of it in such abundance before. I see the conduits. Some kind of pattern here. That's fried. Will it even work? Don't look at me. Damage to parts of the system are preventing power up. Can we reroute past the damage? That may work, Pathfinder. Boosting trace signals. Some kind of glyph on this thing. It matches the pattern on the main console, Pathfinder. Let's see about rerouting the power past all the damage. <clears throat> Okay, so that one, that one, that one, that one. It seems to be working. Nice. should work now, Pathfinder.
Provisional repairs are complete, Pathfinder. Only one way to know for sure. Translating. Flight control systems online. Welcome, Administrator. Looks like those repairs worked better than expected. Restoring systems has reactivated something else nearby, Pathfinder. Yeah, but what? Translating. Exploration vessels on standby. We have seen remnant ships but none in working condition. It says it cannot retrieve commands from the Meridian engine. Hmm. Meridian engine? Sam, do you know what? They're going to be trouble. Ryder, you also activated the remnant defenses. Ryder, I detect a surge of energy on the scans. The section you're in lit up like Mardi Gras. What's it? Mardi Gras? What's going on? Are you all... Can't talk right now! Alright, two towers going. Should get us into Meridian's main control. That looks like a gravity well. Pathfinder, the remnant language bears striking similarity to Angara. Opposition, that code makes a lot of sense, next move, learn from secrets, intelligence news from Jelen. Take, in, take action, protect the work, individual life is nothing, machine of life is everything. This is it, the command hub. Finally. What is that structure? We saw it from space.
Translating. Connection lost. Meridian engine not found. Sam, is there damage here? Can we restore systems like we did before? I'm sorry, Pathfinder. Systems are intact, but they are searching for a component that doesn't appear to exist. What do you mean, doesn't appear to exist? One moment, Pathfinder. I have found something. Translating. Final administrator log. The opposition's weapon may cause widespread damage. All our weapons, our ships, will not be able to protect us. Protect my goal. We need to disengage Meridian from Command Core, which will remain here to draw fire. Meridian contains all the work of the Jardan. Nothing else matters. I will send it far. We can return one day. Continue the process of renewal. End of log. The Archon was wrong. This isn't Meridian. Meridian is gone. There must be some way to recall it. We gotta move, now! This seems perfectly in line with how everything was going. Meridian's gone, and now we're stuck in a catch shit show. Can I please get a break once in a while? We make our own breaks, Ryder. We're fighting. The Cat are not taking us. Not today. Pathfinder, the Remnant City is not without its defenses. This is its central command. Remnant defenses? Of course. Use them against the Cat. Sneaky, don't you? Gotcha. Ground team, is everyone all right? Everyone accounted for. We saw everything from orbit. It was incredible. The entire city lit up. The scans went wild. And Ryder? The Ket are retreating. Whatever you did, it worked. They got the ass-kicking they needed. And delivered by us. Given your command over the Remnant's defenses, Pathfinder, I predict the Ket will not attempt to recapture the city. Any progress on Meridian? Have you got it working yet? This isn't Meridian. Or, at least not all of it. Hard to explain. We'll brief you later. 
So Meridian's gone. But shouldn't this thing know the nav point of where it went? Contact with the Scourge will have altered Meridian's original path. It would take countless years to determine its current location. All this remnant tech around us? The Jardin had to have a plan. I don't think they had much time for a plan. Well, if the Scourge is messing things up, maybe that's where we should look. What are you thinking, kid? I was actually hoping one of you might continue the thought. You heard, Kello. The cat are running from us. That just means we need to push forward before they can recover. We have to find Meridian. The real one. Sam, collect all the data you can. Radio the Tempest for extraction. This is going to take work. And it's going to take all of us. Pathfinder, you seem well. We're all doing quite well here. Thank you. That is good to hear. This journey can't have been easy. Speaking of which, we know you defied us. You went for Meridian in direct violation of initiative orders. Yep. Even though our reasons were quite clear. Yet, you were correct, Ryder. We should have trusted your instincts. You have proven time and again that you deserve the title of Pathfinder. I have never been so glad to be wrong. I appreciate your encouragement, and your candor. I am told there are still obstacles to reaching Meridian. The initiative stands ready to provide whatever support you need. Pathfinder, if you're done with your call to the Nexus, I'd like to talk to you. I think I've found a way for us to find Meridian. You Good. seem tired. Called an all-nighter processing the data we received from the Remnant City. It's a lot. Don't push yourself too hard. Someone's gotta keep me pretty. <clears throat> It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. What matters in the end is that they exist. We can talk more later. Sure. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate? Lingers well after the war? I know what that is. It's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge? They're some motherfuckers. Don't want to talk to me? Okay. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that... though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a... hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. 
The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves. And that's everything. Do you have time to talk further? So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder, becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, mm. Uncle Pathfinder. So let me get this straight. The Angara were created, like, in a lab by another species. A species way beyond our understanding. It seems likely they built everything in Helios for the Angara, then. Maybe their intentions were good. Unlike the Ket. Not many things break my brain, but I got pieces all over the place thanks to this. Good talk. Anytime. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Come on, that'd be the fourth time now. Our luck can't be that bad. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up to the worst of it and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth. <laughs> We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City? Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I hope you were planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines? Pathfinder, Pathfinds Victory, laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Uh-oh. Got a report of a very serious lighting malfunction in your quarters. 
In my quarters, huh? Yep. Guess you won't know unless you head down and see what happens. I should check that out immediately. Sounds like this needs my full attention. Mm -hmm. I swear, this entire scene is, is crucial for the plot of this game. It is. Malfunction, huh? <laughs> I think I've been set up. Not that what my girlfriend would approve of this me. at all. <laughs> I wanted an excuse to see you. See my what? <laughs> and now that you're here, what exactly do you want to see? Headphones on. Sat right there. Someday, <laughs> being a smart ass will get you topic. in trouble. Nah, I've got a good woman watching my back. Not when you've got her distracted. Distracted by my... Shh. I want... I'm gonna show you how perfect you are. Even if it takes me all night. So we're not exactly alone. Sam, can you turn off your logs for a while? My authorization? Yes, Lieutenant Hopper. <laughs> Actual alone time. Like it's just the two of us. Maybe one day it will be. You and me. A rover, a tent, adventuring across the stars. Living on our wits, keeping each other warm at night? Sign me up. This, us, it might not be easy. Andromeda challenges everything we know. But you're worth the fight. Pathfinder, Lieutenant Harper, the day shift is beginning. Duty calls. <sighs> Hello, Ryder. I have been contemplating our discoveries about the Angara, at the Remnant City. I know who created me, and I know my purpose. I have also experienced not knowing. The difference is immense. You're heading into some deep waters there, Sam. Whole lifetimes are spent asking about creation, its meaning, if it has one, and if there was a motivating force. Are you asking if there's a god? AI have concrete answers about why they exist. If I did not, I would look for them. Thank. Hello, Ryder. I have been contemplating the idea of reproduction. Wow! My day sure took a turn. I shared Alec Ryder's experiences of having a family and creating me, but those were memories long past. The drive to reproduce dominates organic life. Now I see its roots are in that emotion which lies between frailty and joy. Are you thinking of making a little Sam? For AI, 
reproduction is the fruit of logical decision, not emotion. And that is a complex decision. Thanks, Sam. Well, Nothing more. <laughs> Hello, Ryder. So the remnant intended to serve them? That's a great question. Too bad we don't have someone on the team who's an expert in... It's my night off. I don't remember approving that. <laughs> I can break bones just as well as I can mend them, Pathfinder. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Sarah. She's restless, but on the mend. So you're not really taking the night off? <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. How do you do it? Be both you and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. Cora? Sure, I have a responsibility to them, but I don't let it define me. Or our relationship. Sometimes. Just sometimes. Real wisdom comes out of that thick skull of yours. A compliment? I'll take it. Wait. You're psychoanalyzing me. Always. I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and PB are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub hooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Pathfinder, you have new email. Extremely quick thinking for a... I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know? It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. That's what the Salarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the Kit? You're a better person than I, Ryder. I'd have toasted Adin in our thruster exhaust. But at least the dead and their families have some justice. Need anything else? I'll let you... You know... What can I do for you? Pathfinder. Just the person I wanted to see. Meridian. Set on a path its creators. Disrupted by the Scourge. Now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship and the Scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. That's genius. The Scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course, but it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance at finding Meridian. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, We'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path.
Well, it sounds like a fine plan. I guess we won't know for sure unless we give it a shot. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Data collection probe ready for placement. I talk to my family every day. You're back. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation, our heroic pathfinder took an interest and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. Thanks, Ryder, for everything. shouldn't be long. The others? Cash and Vorn. If we're gonna teach you Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. Vorn doesn't bug you as much as you pretend he does. Huh. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> He's smart, real handy with plants, kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. So... Fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom. Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know Thresher Maws are damn huge, but... Fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see. It's great. Right, so... What are the rules? Kids game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map. You win. I can work with fire. This is gonna be great. Vorn's bringing root snacks. Corkrow's my favorite. I'll load up the many flamethrowers when the others get here. Well, 
At least the table is fireproof. I think. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. <laughs> Jarl's been asking to talk to you. Four tests? You said... Uh, uh, did you get my message? Doesn't matter. I have exciting news. And I wanted to tell you in person. Should I sit down? Is that another idiom? Or... Yes, of course. Do what you like. Yeah, it's an idiom that means... never mind. I've been offered an advancement in the Resistance. And... my own command. That makes complete sense. Congratulations. Thank you. My family is very proud. And so am I. So when did this happen? Recently. You know that I wasn't satisfied with my position and direction in the Resistance. Or life. True. Very true. Yes. After my successes with you, they see me with new eyes. But more importantly, so do I. So you get your own command? It's a covert squad, tech ops, commanding a small group of elite specialists that infiltrate advanced KET sites. High danger, high reward. That's a hard choice to make. I won't stand in your way. <clears throat> That's kind. It was a hard choice. Okay, then. Should we head back to Aya? <laughs> what? Why? I'm not taking the position. But that's crazy. It's what you wanted. What I wanted, yes. But not what I needed. Not what I need. With your help, I broke free of expectation. I found my better self. That's one of the nicest things anyone has said to me. Seriously. Good. No, really. You've changed too, I think. More open, like a true Angara. Perfect. So, you're stuck with me now. <laughs> At least until this all plays out. Besides, you need me. Don't push your luck. But luck can't be pushed. <laughs> it comes to us in... Ah. Uh, idiom. Yep. Shit. <laughs> One bottle of acantha. Barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax some grief. Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. So you can fix it? It's just editing a config file. You could probably fix it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves.
interpreting Gadara. Pathfinder, got a minute? The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. It's a tremendous find, Ryder. The team asked me to pass on their thanks. Tell them they're welcome. I, as Pathfinder, was happy to serve. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? If you want to keep believing in a higher power who isn't just an advanced species, you'll find a way. You haven't had proof of a God before now. Why would this change that? Your faith will bridge the gaps. Ah. Uh -huh. You're saying I'll find some way to convince or dilute myself? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're right. That's what faith is. And I'm okay with that. I want to believe in something bigger than I am. So I will. Strangely, that makes me feel better about the whole thing. I think I could handle it. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. had a main gun. Hey, you. Need something? Need something? You know where to find me.
They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. <laughs> Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. Fry their sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it <laughs> sounds. Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rattus. Rattus. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. <laughs> this I have to see. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it... It isn't fair. He was so young and... Solarian... He had so much to give! <sighs> oh, Ryder. I can't feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. D do you even have a gallbladder? Oh, no. It's worse than <laughs> I thought. Oh. 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 No. Damn you! Damn you all! Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. I'm not sure how that gave us 400 um, viability points, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Okay, let's just have a look. Might want to check that out, actually. Uh, but the rest of it, yeah, okay, so I'm going to save this one here. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. And, um, you know, we'll uh, we'll get this finished quite soon, I think, actually. There's not much left to do on it, except for a load of those uh, small tasks on the different planets. But, you know, we'll see. So thanks for joining, and I'll see you again later. Cheers.